Debbie and this is my show Let Me Show the Land, as you probably already know. So today is my first day of broadcasting this show and what better day could it be? It's on Eid, well the second day of Eid, but it's still on Eid, which is great. So before I get started I think I should let you know a little bit more about my show. So every episode I'm going to get a new guest who I'm going to interview and well let's just say it won't be traditional, it's going to be very interesting. So what I'd like you to do is sit back on your sofa, relax, eat popcorn and watch to find out more. Um, today is my first guest here, Mahir Firdaus Jalil, the person who knows everything about Channel S. So how are you? I'm well, thank you. Um, so um, I'd like to ask you some questions. Um, my first question is, well, we hear kids who get onto TV because they're inspired by Lady Gaga, um, Alan Sugar and everyone like that. But what inspired you? Oh, I don't know what inspired me to do TV. I thought the um, in British Bangladeshi in Britain um, was lacking a communication from Bangladesh and I think we needed an, a balanced television to be broadcasted to the everyone house in 2002-2003, um, which is the 20th century was and beginning of 21st century, that we need to uh, connect to our roots, show them the villages, show them what is happening in back home, show them what is happening in London, show them what is happening within our society, show them <coughs> our kids how good they was doing, not that, that, that we in Britain we was doing so well that we started working running financial institutes starting from the aircraft starting from the engineering that our boys and girls are going in the right direction so sharing our happiness at the same time connecting to the route that was the main agenda behind uh, thinking of a channel S um, because of you well you're one of the reasons that we have a Bangladeshi channel and I'm not going to lie, I know more about ba the Bangladesh community because of Channel S, which is fantastic. What do you think your ultimate dream for Channel S would be, if there is one? Well, I think uh, there is always a dream, um, th with my personal um, lacking, because my life has always been a roller coaster life, as you all know, and I'm the most controversial Bangladeshi man, most probably, in, this, <laughs> in, the, in your show. But the, what happened is the Channel S, it's I always say to people, it's it's a community channel. It's belong to the community, but I think we uh, next few years it should go more towards the community. And it's slowly, slowly, it's going to be a legacy of a British Bangladeshi left. I may not be here. I'm, uh, my children may not be here. They're mo most probably not going to be interested. But the from the community, they will be running it, and they will be they will be looking after the interest. That in, in a bigger picture, that channel have to go back to the community. Yeah. Okay. So. Um would you say you're a serious person? I don't know, but I can tell you, if you are not serious, you wouldn't be able to be on air for 13 years uh, without having a day um, black frame on television. So yes, we've been very serious. <laughs> uh, we, when I say serious, we are very committed towards um, a Channel S that we show what we commit to people, we deliver what we say, and what we say, that's what we mean. I was thinking, like, I'm not sure if you know, but there's this singer called Mary J. Blige, and um, she rebranded herself as MFJ. So would you ever consider, because, you know, you have, like, so many names, like Mahir through Dolce Jalil, why don't you, like, you know, make yourself into MFJ? Um, yeah, she yeah. made herself MFE. So would you consider making yourself into MFJ? I, I, I think I'm not selling myself, because the, that those people, they would like to sell a brand in themselves. I think we, I'm not a brand myself, I'm, a, um, I'm just a person, but the Channel S itself is a brand, so therefore I don't think it goes with me, I'm happy what I got and how I oh. am. Well, you have a really long name, I mean, the younger viewers takes us forever to say your name, <laughs> right. but you know, you know. My next question that I'm going to ask you is that what we're all thinking about, I mean, some people probably already know the answer, but people like me, the younger generation, we don't really know. So. Why is it called Channel S? We majority of the British Bangladesh is from Silet, number one. Number two, um, the saint in Silet called Shah Jalal. Number three, the S could stand for anything. Science, it could stand for anything because if you open the dictionary you'll find it sounded vocally right. At the same time I'm broadcasting a lot of Sileti program. It was a bridge that many people would not even speak on television Sileti until we opened Channel S because people used to embarrass their own mother tongue. 
So people never would have come to your television and say, Afne Bala Sunni, you know, Afne Kitakhura. They wouldn't speak that. They would have said, uh, they would have embarrassed themselves. So therefore, Channel S, yes, in a wider audience, um, you, it, it does not mean S anything. But the people, it's the people who came from um, British Bangladesh, majority of them from Silet, they, they connect to that, it's their own Sileti televisions. They, the, the people and a wider media, they do not connect. They might think Channel S, I may have done it for a saint, Shah Jalal, or something. But the, the reality is, it, it sounded, a catchy name. There are a lot of cha there are another channel S in America, science televisions. Uh, you know there are uh, S TVs. There are a number of a lot of people use on television an alphabet. So you know we take in that alphabet. So do you always like give really really long answers? <laughs> Um, it is not a long answer because sometimes it is not a it is a show you're not asking me yes and no if you ask me saying you got to answer yes and no I'll give you yes and no but if you're asking an information if you want an information I will have to give you a long answer because information cannot be given in two words I guess I guess, I guess that's true you got a point there so um would you like do you think are you naturally bold, <laughs> bold and me yeah no I'm a, I'm a naturally most probably a workaholic. I work many hours, so. Uh, oh no, I don't, I don't mean bold as in that. I mean as in bold as in bold. Oh no. Um, what do you think? You spent last 10, 15 minutes talking to me. What do you think? Well, I don't, I don't, I don't think you're bold, but you know. Some then of I, then I'm not. Right, so. I am not. I'm not. No, you're not. Okay, so you would like. So I, I'm going to ask you some questions, and um, you have to answer them really, really quickly. Okay. So, what profession, other than your own, would you like to attempt? Five, four, three, two, one, go on, hurry, hurry. Well, I, I don't know. I, um, that Channel, S, Channel S and television presenter, it's not a profession, it's a hobby, I think. Channel oh, S itself okay. is a hobby. I run a car garage. Uh, I fix people's cars. Um, I, we have a fleet of cars. So, I am into the cars myself. So, I studied on cars. I go to university and studied on cars, so therefore, the, 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 my profession, if somebody call me, I'm a technician on cars. But anything I do on the TV side, it's most probably my hobby. Oh, okay, so this is just all a hobby for you? It is a hobby. Uh, it is a hobby. It's uh, Channel S. It's, if, we, if, we, if we would have seen Channel S a business, you wouldn't no. start doing as a free view television. You would have said, right, a business works, mm. you, how much money you bring in, and how much money do you spend? We don't see that in here. We just want to still broadcast to the community. So this is a part of a hobby. Uh, it see, 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 see. You're giving long answers. <laughs> you I, know, I know. I know. You said explanation, but I said true answers this yeah, time. No, no problem. You, you carry on. I'm here. Right, right, right. If you say so. So, um, do you happen to have it? A habit, a really bad habit. Shaking hands. Shaking hands. Anything else, you know, to do with nails? Yeah, I might uh, pick my nails up. Yeah. What, why do you do that? I think I work in a garage, so it's always just became one of those habits. So you just you got the dirt inside the nails, and you're trying to clean them when you're sitting down because you've been working in a garage always. So the the grease goes in there, so you're just trying to play with it. Do you want to show our audience how you do that? No, it's okay. I mean, they must have seen oh, it many you, times, you hundreds of times. You know, I'm just playing with it. <laughs> okay, if you say so. So um, I'm going to ask you a question that um, all your fans out there, everybody else, they're probably thinking this, and if they see you, they're going to probably think this too. So all those people who want to follow, follow onto your steps, footsteps, they're probably going to want to ask you this, but wouldn't have the decency to ask you. Um, so what I'd like to ask you is that, how much money do you earn per year? It's a very typical question. It's not how much money I earn. Um, it's... It's enough to pay all the bills. Let's put it <laughs> well, this well, way. We know we know you own over like like own over like a thousand. So you want to like so you don't want to tell us your actual. No, it's 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 very. We, we it's not about. I'm not working for someone that someone pays me a salary. Whatever money need to be paid for the bills, we always take it and pay for it. So it's 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 a, it's a very difficult question, but it's enough enough to pay the bills. Is it a six figure or a seven figure? Six figures. Six, it will be six, six figures. Six figures. Okay, everyone heard this. It's six figures. You don't have to tell us what you get, but we, we know. We know. We know. So let's just put it that way. So how many cars do you actually have? 
Uh, we have quite a few, uh, closer, not hundreds, closer to... No, 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 how about you? Just uh, you? I, I don't personally have many cars. Whatever available really? I drive, I have lost all the, um, the pride and joy on the cars because I think I've seen everything, so... <gasps> no, what cars do you actually have, though? Uh, I just got an old banger, you know. Oh, really? Yes. But, a oh. car should take you from A point to B point. Depends how you want to get there. Same journey could be done by a Fiat Punto or a Nissan Micra. So we all have to cut oh. our clothes according to our size. Therefore, I take whatever available there. So it's not something because, but today's culture car could be a flashy gates. People have to hire cars and everything else. But when we brought up, it was not nothing like it. Okay, so um, it's been very nice speaking to you, but unfortunately right now we're going to have to go on a short break, so we'll meet you after the break. Thank you very much. Hello, we're back again with Mahir Fridos Jalil, everyone who knows about Channel S. So let's get back started. Um, so my next question to you would be, what do you do in Channel S? What do you do? What do I do in Channel S? I used to uh, do uh, uh, present a show, uh, but the Channel S got a lot of skilled people they run, but if there is anything they need, they're stuck. So they still ask me, is it right or wrong? And uh, within my ability, I, I, I share with them. So I'm still within the panel of management itself. But apart from that, I have a show, used to have a show, and I will be starting a show soon. Oh, interesting. So you're going to be starting a show, and what show would this be for? Same show for many years, reality with Mahi. So, you know, it's one of those oh, things. Okay. So it will be coming soon. OK, so this new show, who would it be like? Who would the audience be, the target audience? Um, uh, on, on, on Reality of Mahi, with, it, it's targeted for everyone, cater for everyone. everyone. Yeah, it, it's such a way, it's a current affairs show, so, so there is no age bounding, you know, so it could be anybody, anybody and everybody. So even for little kids? <laughs> Uh, not for kids. Um, sadly, we don't cater much for kids because kids are onto the uh, cartoon characters, this character, that character. But we always will be lacking on the kids. But yes, uh, 10, 15, uh, 15 plus, 17 plus, yes, they all will be catered for. Okay. Okay, cool. So um, I'm going to ask you a question. This might sound a little weird, but I'm still going to ask you. So you make money, right? We all know that. But... If you could only make money by eating dog food, would you, would you, make, would you do it? No, because... No, not at all. <laughs> why do we make money? And money is not something you take with you when you die. So money you bring it to as a legacy, you bring behind, you give the best education to the children, you help the society. So you, you, if, you, if, you, if you get a dog food, that mm -hmm. may not even work in the human body. <laughs> Um, because you might get ill, sick and everything else tomorrow, whatever it is. But money is not something you make out of desperation. Money, again, it's another buzz. You feel for it, you want to make money. Okay. So um, what sound or noise do you like? Um, interesting. Um, noises I don't like. I'm not into noise, but I'm, I work in a noisy environment in a garage but I don't like many of the noises. You don't, and you work in a garage? Yeah. Uh, Wait, how is this possible then? Mm, you studied this your whole life. Yeah, that's how it is, but as soon as I come out of the garage, I feel calm and relaxed, you know, it's just you're relaxing, so might be the environment. And the sound, um, I, I, I do like, um, how do I put it in word? It's like a kirtan type, a music type I like. Uh, Can you make it for us now? No, I sure. can't make it. I'm, oh. I'm so bad on oh, that. Oh, come one. on, come on. I think, I think you can just show a little bit. I, I just can't bit. do it, but this is what it is. You can, you can, you can try. Uh, it's no good trying and embarrassing yourself oh, and on. myself, but, you know, uh, so no, we rather... On. I think the viewers will understand. No, I don't, I don't think the viewers will. I think, I think we want to see. Come on, come on, just make a sound. Come on. I just can't do it. No, oh, at least, at least. Do, do you see? Do you see? Come on. No, I can't do it. Just, just, just try, come on. I, I just can't do it. So, you know, it's not necessary that I have to do it. I try. If you say so, but you disappointed me and my audience. Next questions, I'll make you satisfied. Morning. Don't worry. All right, all right. So, name one thing you missed about when you were a child. I haven't missed anything. Nothing? Nothing. Mom so you hated being a child? 
No, mum and dad gave me the best upbringing you could have had. So anything I wanted, it was there. No. Oh, and I didn't okay. miss anything. But most probably, I wanted to go to play football, but mum and dad wouldn't allow me to go <gasps> to football. So no. you know, you know, so Why would it, didn't you even watch football? No, I broken my leg when I was uh, sort of uh, early teen. And since that, my no more activities of football, no that's more it. activities? Uh, so nothing to do with football? No. Oh. No more, no more uh, playgrounds. That's it. Oh, okay. So, what would you say is your favourite sport? My favourite. I still like watching um, footballs. Really? Oh, um, really? I took you down as a basketball uh, fan. Okay. Yeah, but uh, you know, um, we don't see it much now, do we? No. <laughs> Why not? There is not enough time, but you know, it's one of those things. Ah, uh, you're a very busy person, aren't you? I'm trying to. So, if you could describe yourself in three words, what would it be? Hard, working and committed. Hard, working and committed. Okay, and do you think everyone agrees with this with you, or do you think it's just you thinking this? I don't know. <laughs> I never asked that question. I've never had the opportunity oh, to ask okay. anyone, so... You can uh, ask me. <laughs> oh, I don't know. You know. <laughs> I think you're very hard and committed and hard working. But I think I'm more hardworking, but you know. So, no, you, yeah, you, you might be. <laughs> I might be, okay. So, um, what's your favourite toy? Cars, most probably. Cars. Oh, you're like my little brother. He, he loved cars. So, um, you must have a favourite car then, since you own a car company. Uh, it's not favourite, as I said to you before. Um, uh, cars takes him. But I still like the old antique cars I still like. I got an E type Jaguar, it's 1972. Wow. You know, I like those old cars. The technology was a difference, not over gadgeted, and a beautiful cars, handmade cars, you know. Okay. So, um, what's your favourite pizza topping? I don't like pizza. <gasps> no way. Why do you not like pizza? I don't know. I think because when I was upbringing, I had the rice and curry and a roti and everything uh, else, and I the stick to the, the I'm, traditional. I'm traditional. Way. Stick to this. I don't. <laughs> I do like some Italian food, I like some Mediterranean food, but not pizza. So do you eat rice every day? Mm, yes, or might be a day gap. But, you oh know, my but god. Would you ever make your kids eat rice every day? Um, no, they, they moved on, so you know, <laughs> they, they all moved on, I think. Moved on, okay. Um, so, um, what is your favourite word then? Come on. My favourite one, Afnara Bala Sunni. That's my ah, favourite one. Really? Nguli? Yeah. Why so? Oh, I don't know. It's just natural. Afnara Bala, that, that's, that's more of a phrase though, I asked for a word. Well, ba Bala Sunni, that is the uh, word. Bala How are you, you know? How are you? Yeah, yes. So, well, in Bengali, okay, Because but... anywhere I go, is, uh, and if I'm giving a speech in English or Bengali or whatever it is, I will say, if I see a lot of Bengali crowd there, I say, Afra Balasun, you know? So that's, oh, okay. that's last 10 years been the same word mm -hmm. on the opening. So did you always want to do this when you were older? No, no. No? no. So what do you want to be? <laughs> Me? Uh, I just got to do a few more businesses. Oh at least one more uh, a business and then start packing things up and uh, settling and reorganizing and restructuring and that's it. Oh, okay. That's really interesting. So um, earlier on I talked about motivation and what influenced you. So what actually gave you the motivation to do all of this as a hobby? I don't know. I think it's a self-motivation and I think there was a, a, there was there is a need for a televisions um, for for British Bangladeshi. There was not many on there. There was uh, it, it didn't come up with the vision, and the uh, there will be a lot more happening in Channel S, inshallah, in many years to come. Oh yeah, there, there, there should be. So you say that this show came on for thirteen years. The television been at thirteen years. Thirteen years. But when was the initial idea? Initial idea was two thousand and one. 2001, but oh, by the time okay. we came on the year, it was about 2004. I was involved in other televisions and uh, I did not see that they were serving the community the way I wanted to serve, so I just moved on, that's all, and started Channel S. Oh, okay. But um, if you wouldn't have started Channel S, do you think you would have improved the other channels, and if so, which one? 
Um, the, the, I, I, the, the original TV I was in, they no longer exist, so it's not, not worth mentioning it. But uh, improving, it's always difficult uh, because you, uh, we humans have a fixed strategy. And if anybody else says something, even sometimes if you say good things to someone, it might sound to him as not good as bad, you know? Okay. So, I'm going to show Aya, Athne Kila, we say. Fantastic. It's, it's a good, it's a different way you're trying to present. Uh, and it, it's, it, it's a lot of information to be shared with, um, with the viewers. So, it's, it's a very unique show, I would say. <laughs> I haven't seen the uh, finished product, but it will be a, a, fantastic sh a fantastic show. Do you think it's more of a problem getting the young, younger generation into programs like this? I never say it, um, anything is a problem. Uh, I do not see it. It's, we have to all understand today's, today's world in 21st century with the social media, you have to give something to someone because they're all holding a television in their own hands. And not only one, it's millions of hundreds of televisions. You can go anywhere and everything. People just don't have enough time. So the, the 21st century, a lot of things has changed, and Channel S with the time have to change and move on with that directions. And that's what we are going forward to do and cater for more youngsters. Um, and there are a number of shows starting uh, to, to attract the young generations. When I said the young generation, I would say the real British born and brought up British Bangladeshi in here. But what about the people who want to keep it the same? They want to keep everything the same. No, we are. We're not changing it fully. There are some. There are some. But uh, in in the last fourteen years, a lot of things has changed. Thirteen years, a lot of things has changed, and we have to move with the time. Time does not wait for anyone. It keeps moving, and we have to move. So I want to ask you one more question, and I just don't want to ask you. I want to ask our audience right here. So I want them, and I want all of you guys to answer to truthfully. Who do you think is a better presenter, me or my hair for Dostoevsky? And what do you think? Well, am I getting no. there? Or am I, you know? But you see, when I started presenting, it was different. No, I didn't want to become a presenter. By force, I became a presenter. Oh, Nobody, so. I invited a few of my fellow colleagues that I know, and I st asked them to do a show and speak in Sileti there. Everyone was embarrassed to speak in Sileti. <laughs> and then I said, oh, I'll start, start doing it myself. So it was not planned. It was not in the business plan. But people like yourself, you prepare ready everything else. So you, that will make you the better presenter than me. <laughs> Great. Well, thank you. It's been such a pleasure speaking to you. And um, I'm sure our guests enjoyed um, listening I, I'm sure our audience enjoyed listening to you so um, thank you for watching our first show and good night <laughs>